Hi everyone, The Lone Wolf here. Welcome back for some more EVE Online. And in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about the data sites in HiSec. I have actually been running quite a few of these. And I just find another one, so we're going to take a look over here. And uh, I have found that they make decently good ISK. Now, it's not great ISK, and normally um, I would not bother too much with these data sites, but I've been trying a different type of exploration. Basically one where I don't focus only on the very best combat signatures, like the 3, 4 out of 10s or the Sancho Vigils for instance, so that I give myself the best chance at a nice faction drop. Nope, I've been taking my time a little bit more, try to clean up some more stuff inside uh, any system that I explore, including anomalies, including looting them with a mobile tractor unit and salvaging them. It's definitely not as efficient as you're pinpointing, uh, as you uh, exploring and pinpointing uh, the best combat site and uh, things like that. But I feel like you do get decent returns, and to my surprise, the uh, data sites have been treating me really well. So uh, let's do this one. Four shards, not bad. Uh, definitely uh, slightly above average, I would say. Three to four is the normal average of what I'm finding at the moment. And then let's see if we can start hacking. This is also the reason why this Ishtar fit is a little bit different. It now has a micro op drive so that I can burst myself from shard to shard a little bit more uh, efficiently compared to the pure uh, afterburner fit. And this has really been my experience. Look at that. First shard, 2.3 million thanks to two decryptors. I think that that is pretty damn reasonable for the amount of time that we are spending in here. Uh, next up, we've got one that's at like 7-8 kilometers. So I'll quickly jump over there with the afterburner. A microbe drive uh, burst would actually put me too far be beyond uh, this shard. You, you do have to learn that a little bit. But um, I've been I've been getting to grips with it. I've been doing it a little bit, and it's going better and better. So this one is done. Definitely gonna grab that. Unfortunately, no good loot here. Then we have one at 20 kilometers, where we almost have a line of sight. So we're actually gonna try to shoot up a little bit. Micro op drive 20k. I think it's still one burst. Let's go. Orbit at 500 is what I like to use. And then once we get close to the 6 kilometer range, you can just start scanning. Uh, your hacking, excuse me. Go up here. And try to find that core. Uh, I've been doing this because, well, I, I got a cold. So my energy levels are actually pretty low at the moment. And then I'm mostly looking to relax. But look at that, another decryptor. Another half a million, so that puts us at almost 3 million for this data site. And we still have one left to go. We're misaligned, so I think that here we can still afford at 12 kilometers to use the micro op drive burst. Then we're gonna orbit this puppy at 500, start our hack, and hope for some more extra loot. Let's see if we can find it. There it is. Grab the loot. Look at that. Another 2.5 million isks. So this is like 6 million isk um, almost from a single uh, data site. I think that that's actually pretty damn amazing. I'm not sure if you guys uh, share this experience as well, but definitely put it in the comments if it's worth it to... Um, Go after these data sites in high Now, from my perspective, it is. Uh, it is pretty steady stream. I think a lot of people actually completely skip those. I'm not seeing a lot of competition in here. And uh, yeah, with the right fit, you can basically run from shard to shard quite quickly and efficiently. And as I've said here, I've now been exploring for a little bit. Um, I haven't found any good combat sites, but spending that time going through these uh, data sites, here's another 10 million in decryptors. Plus, I think I've got these as well. Yep, look at that. These here as well. 11.4 million. A little bit more. Going up to 14.4 million in data sites from a single run of maybe six systems so far. Um, I'm amazed. I'm, I'm actually really amazed. I've also been running the relic sites. Those are still absolutely terrible. Salvage is worth a little bit more these days, but it's it's still not worth it. You're not getting containers there that are worth uh, more than a million or anything like that. It's quite terrible. But these data sites have really surprised me. And so as I've said, maybe we'll do a little bit more exploration in this side as well. Perhaps we'll find something good with so few people in a local. And uh, I'll show you guys how I've been running this actually. 
like if you see something like a refuge well there is definitely potential there as well so press stack all go look for your mobile tractor unit and while we're doing that we're gonna scan for these four signatures and um during this type of downtime, I'm actually also grabbing a little bit of extra loot, putting up my salvage drones, trying to find uh, useful uh, materials there. And, well, it's not great, but again, you can be a little bit lucky. I have had quite a few refuges with 2-3 million uh, in loot drops as well. So, it is, it is quite surprising uh, how some of the things that we would normally not bother with during exploration can actually be pretty amazing uh, so we can still keep scanning in the background we are going to drop the ogres if i can there we go drop out a warp at the mobile tractor unit grab one target apparently i was a little bit late they started shooting at me when it's a command really as well all right it's gonna be a good test for this ship and let's do this one. We'll first grab the rest, the rest of the signatures and then hope that uh, the Sanchez Command Relay uh, is still available. Because the challenge for uh, for this Ishtar is of course going to be that it is no longer cap stable. So I still have to run it through its spaces in those harder combat sites. Um, but so far it has been serving me well basically uh, for these kinds of side activities. Run some quick anomalies, grab the loot, do a little bit of salvage there as well. Run the data sites. To be honest, I think they are worth it these days. I'm definitely getting decent ISK out of it. And then, of course, if you do happen to find a good combat site, you should actually... Uh, I would normally drop all of this because th the chance at a good drop uh, is not something that you could you should uh, pass up on. This, this ought to be your absolute priority when you find a 3, 4 out of 10 and things like that. But... In the meantime, while I am scanning in the background, my ogres are taking care of all of these uh, evil Sancha. And from time to time, you can get lucky with the drops there as well. Even if they're only meta, some meta items are actually... Uh, take one meta items are actually worth like a million isk and more. So, let's keep going. Let's try to quickly figure out what this final signature is. Looks like it's actually a pretty tricky one to scan down. And then keep one eye on the rats as well. If something like a true Sasha shows up, that can potentially be quite nice as well. But that's not the case just yet. And then we've got escalations. Yeah, if you want to, you can definitely uh, be quite busy with, with exploration. You're doing a lot of stuff uh, at the same time. So it looks like that is it for this Sasha Refuge. Let's see if we can actually... Yeah, local Sasha data production. Okay, all right, pretty good. Uh, I am going to grab that. Uh, it's not a good one, but at least I give gave myself the chance at a good drop. But now we're quickly going to run into that Sasha command relay because I am curious um, as to the cap stability here. If we look at this fitting, obviously I took out uh, the medium cap battery here in the mid slots, which makes uh, made for cap stability with the afterburner. Micro drive, as I've said, it is for the data sites, just to cut down on the travel time there. And I could still save a mid slot, of course, by going for a combined analyzer. But um, if I simulate this and I put everything out, uh, except for the tank, we're still cap stable. So it should basically in theory still do fine even in these tougher combat sites so let's get in on this three out of ten let's see if we can uh, handle that one with ease or not hope for a good drop as well and yeah i can show you guys my cargo hold basically this is uh, some of the stuff that i've been doing grab some extra salvage especially the data sites they've been treating me quite well and i think just a little bit of extra uh side activities and uh, 10 15 20 million extra in the bank why the hell not not super interesting for people that are looking to min max their time for more experienced players this is not that great but for newer players Getting this type of uh, of isk might actually be pretty good. So let's get started here. In the meantime, I really should blow my nose. Sorry about that. Let's grab these rats. And uh, I think that the squad leader is already 
below my guard tracking capabilities so we are going to focus on the other rats first that one I love this about the Ishtar it's just so nice so versatile look at that just cutting down all of these little rats we can add a little bit of laser fire here and there but um, I haven't had to move and then I haven't had to worry about basically anything and we are just blapping away at all of these rats even here at 21 kilometers shouldn't be a problem uh, well actually four misses so this is definitely slowing down they're also targeting one so we are going to switch to a couple of small drones let's spread them out like this first like cat Damn it! And then we're gonna approach the Black Ops squad leader. But yeah, first room of course, and this is only the three out of ten. But as you can see, zero damage on my tank so far. Haven't had to worry at all. They don't like my Federation Navy Hobgoblin. They are going after that one actually. But we'll quickly. I think it's gonna be the Black Ops squad leader that's doing that. So once we go after him, we'll be fine. All drones on him. I think he's gonna start missing then. Blap, there he goes. Take that. I'm actually gonna afterburn towards the wreck. You should do it. I think it is worth it. You have a tiny, tiny chance at a faction drop from this one. And then here I think we'll try to micro up drive again. Full speed. And then room number two. There we go. For room number two, definitely get your mobile tractor unit ready. Like that. And look for the frigate. There it is. There's only one frigate and it is your main target. So we're going to start targeting that mobile tractor unit. Once we're at like three quarters, we should be fine. Guards come out engage and now we will want our um tank just in case because those missiles will do quite a little bit of damage if we want to clear everything out we can start targeting these destroyers as well full hits that's pretty good blaps he is gone going off to the rest next and just a little bit of patience because here comes our loot. Normally, Overseer Frigate Wreck. Let's hope so. Would be good. Um, you can relax here as well if you want to. Your drones will look for their own targets. So, uh, stuff will just keep blowing up <laughs> in front of you. It's actually very satisfying as well if you're looking to just relax. They will start to chew through your tank, but uh, you're at a good distance. So, that's going to take them a little bit of time. Let's uh, see what kind of loot we get here. All right, 87 million. Yep, a type uh, afterburner. That is, of course, quite awesome. Um, but this doesn't happen every single time. You do, from time to time, have uh, droughts, basically. If all you're doing is focusing on these 3 out of 10s, 4 out of 10s, and all of these great combat sites. And so something that we still have over here is another data site so we're gonna take a quick look at that and see if we can just get a couple of extra million out of our exploration run here but yeah this is my uh, changed ishtar it is basically aimed not to run these combat sites exclusively uh, not to focus exclusively on that efficiency on the best chance for the best loot uh, for your time spent in the game but to do a little bit of everything to basically be a cleanup explorer in EVE Online and this includes the data sites which in my opinion have been worth it um, so here we have four uh, of these shards again let's see the first one uh, still 14 kilometers I think that we can use the micro up drive for that one and let's see if we can confirm what i've been finding so far that these are actually doing quite well in revenue so first one six kilometers should be good and let's see if we can find that core quickly there it is grab the loot that's unfortunate not too great next one quite nearby so we're actually going to use the 
afterburner for it again within 10 kilometers your micro up drive you're just gonna overshoot it anyways so you might as well just afterburn towards the targets now we're gonna try and find that core quickly there it is grab the loot four million from a single shard yeah doesn't happen every single time but it does happen from time to time and uh, i feel like that's pretty damn awesome this one is at 13 kilometers so i do think that we can do one if you're worried about overshooting just press approach normally you'll collide it'll slow you down and then you'll be fine to stay in range so here you can see that we still have some speed so just try to keep approaching uh it's gonna be the other side okay there it is and yeah with an approach order another half a million not bad and then the final one is back there at 12 kilometers uh, but yeah not a, a 4.5 million from this data site we still have a short left to go and uh, i'm slowly learning the um micro op drive burst patterns for all of these data sites and i think they're worth it relic sites i'll admit that those are pretty terrible but the data sites have really been surprising me let's see if this one can do so as well let's try to find that core and grab that loot give it to me ah well it is dark it's not sure if that'll still go for a decent amount of visc but yeah that just that one shot at four million did just make up for a lot of course so there we go i'm going to continue my exploration run here i think i'll just clean up a little bit more in this system uh, with the refuge it's a try if i want to do a little bit of extra salvaging i'll do that as well but i've really been enjoying this uh this change ishtar i think will do absolutely anything and even more efficiently than the previously um the previous fit of the ishtar and uh, yeah cleaning up systems a little bit more including the anomalies i'm definitely enjoying that and uh, that has been my exploration experience as i'm trying to basically relax a bit more thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you all next time.